Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I don't understand the terminology is used by those who are in Tariqa. And there are many things that I don't understand. For example, when they talk about Nafi and Isbat. All I know is I want to return to Allah. Ah, tamam. That's enough. You don't need to know terminologies. <laughs> yeah. Terminologies. Ah. You see, Holy Prophet wasalam, he is known as the one with the most eloquent speech, the best speech. And the words of the prophets and the saints, they're very simple. They're not filled with terminologies. Because they want to explain to someone. They want to uh, make sure that the person understands. So they're going to use the language of those ones that they are talking to. Holy Prophet is saying, speak to every people according to their level, isn't it? And the Prophet ﷺ, he spoke in the simplest language to make sure that people understand. Simple but very profound, very deep, very eloquent. And the Sahabi Kiram, they did the same. Allah, they're continuing in that tradition. Otherwise, if they're just going to use terminologies, terminologies is for who? For people who study terminologies. For scholars. Uh, you are just trying to impress people. Don't impress people. Express what you have experienced. It's completely different. All that we want here is to return to Allah. Yes. Which is why I love, alhamdulillah, Sheikh and his English. Okay? I mean, we are forced to study English. Uh, we study... I'm not going to sit here to tell you what I studied, but we study some years of English. Uh, we can speak very good English. <laughs> but we like to speak like this. Because it's very juicy. There's taste. Our Shah is speaking like that. <laughs> and now he's not hiding behind words. You see... When you have a hundred colors, it's easy for you to make a picture, huh? Nice painting, if you have the skill. What if you only have five colors? What are you going to do that time? It's more difficult, isn't it? Now you really have to use your skill to try to, to explain to people what you understand. And I like to do it also because English is not my uh, uh, mother tongue, they say. I don't know what happened to my father tongue. But they say mother tongue. So, it's not my language. English is not my language. I was taught to speak it. Some way, somehow, the way that they raise us, so many like me, their English is better than their mother tongue. Isn't this a story all over the world? Especially the story in Middle East. Huh? You forget what your father spoke, how he spoke, how your grandfather, same thing. It doesn't have to switch from language to language. You can even be in the same language. What happened in Turkey? They throw out so many of the rich, majestic vocabulary of the Ottomans that they took from every strong, very rooted language, from Greek to Latin to Arabic to Farsi, and they throw it all away and they take a cheap Words that they borrow from here and there. What happens now? Your spirit also gets very small. So when I saw Shaf Andy speaking very clearly and using language, now he's using language. He's not being a slave to the language. He's using the language, trying to figure out a way not to impress people. With his language and how much I know, how much I know Arabic, how much I know terminologies, how much I know all these phrases. No. He is trying very hard to explain and to express what he knows to the people. It is not to impress, it is to express. That is completely the way of the Prophet and the way of the Evliya Allah. 
So in that way, people from seven years old to 70 years old, they understand. People from uh, no education to high education, they understand. Everybody understands. And he does not hide behind the words. He is pushing out the meaning of the words. Sometimes he uses the words in completely unusual ways, and we like it. So, simple. Simple lifestyle means also simple language. No need to know all these terminologies. What we need to know is the reality of these terminologies. What it is. Once we understand the meaning, the words become useless. The words is just a shell. The words is just the external covering that is actually covering, hiding the real meaning. Once you understand the meaning, at that time you can take it and you can give it to anyone you want, anyone that is ready for it. You can take out the cover at that time and you give according to how they understand. This is how you think the early Muslims, the Sahabi Kiram, they go to so many different tribes, towns, cities, different countries and they start using Arabic terminologies on people. No, it isn't. You think they went there and they even used Arabic? No, they didn't. They had to learn the language of the people. And so many of them, the miracle of the Prophet, they didn't know how to speak Greek or Farsi or Turkish. But Holy Prophet prayed for them and their tongue turned and they're able to speak fluently. The idea is speak according to their level. Now, all these other terminologies, they are hiding so many things. But once you are with that one who is just talking about that reality without hiding behind these terminologies, you understand better. It's not becoming a show, a fake. So, yes, all we want is to return to Allah, but to return to Allah with a nafsu mutma'in, not just to return to Allah. Returning to Allah, our nafs returning as a nafsu amara still, we're in big trouble. I think this much is enough. You understand. Fatiha.